Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a significant display of solidarity, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg chaired a pivotal virtual meeting of the NATO Ukraine Council on April 19, 2024. The gathering, attended by defense ministers, was convened to address Ukraine's pressing military requirements amidst ongoing conflicts. Following extensive deliberations, Stoltenberg announced NATO's commitment to bolstering its support for Ukraine, with a particular emphasis on providing additional air defense systems. During the meeting, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky provided allies with updates on the prevailing battlefield situation, elucidating Ukraine's critical military aid necessities. Stoltenberg underscored NATO's concerted efforts in reviewing available resources across member states, identifying numerous systems ripe for deployment to fortify Ukraine's defenses. He expressed optimism for forthcoming announcements regarding the provision of new air defense capabilities. Integral to discussions were Ukraine's urgent requisites for additional artillery munitions, deep precision strike capabilities, and drones, underscoring NATO members' unwavering commitment to bolstering Ukraine's military endeavors. In addition to delineating military aid specifics, Stoltenberg lauded recent escalations in support from various NATO countries. Germany's decision to dispatch an additional Patriot defense system to Ukraine and the Netherlands' pledge of an additional 4 billion euros in military aid were particularly noteworthy. Initiatives such as Czechia's ammunition project and fresh commitments from Denmark and Norway were also hailed as substantive contributions to the support initiative. Stoltenberg also underscored the critical vote on April 20, 2024, in the U.S. House of Representatives, which greenlit a crucial aid package for Ukraine. He emphasized the imperative for NATO allies to tap into their inventories to expedite the delivery of missiles, artillery, and ammunition to Ukraine. In conclusion, Stoltenberg underscored the pivotal role of military support in reducing Russian combat capabilities, thereby bolstering the security of all NATO members. He framed this support as an investment in the collective security of the alliance, highlighting its significance beyond mere philanthropy. Central to the meeting's agenda was the indispensable role of air defense systems in Ukraine, particularly amidst heightened conflict and ongoing aerial threats. These systems serve as linchpins in safeguarding critical infrastructure and civilian areas from missile and drone assaults. The efficacy of Ukraine's air defense apparatus hinges on strategic utilization to intercept and neutralize projectiles before they pose a threat to their intended targets. Multiple allied nations have stepped up to fortify this defensive bulwark by providing an array of defense systems. Notably, the United States and European allies such as Germany have supplied Patriot systems, renowned for their efficacy in intercepting ballistic and cruise missiles from afar. Additionally, the Netherlands increased military support signals a potential augmentation of advanced air defense capabilities. These international contributions play a pivotal role in enabling Ukraine to shore up its defenses against aerial aggressions, fostering a semblance of security and stability amidst tumultuous times. That's all for now. See you later.